Hi, uh, this is Adam Gilmore from the Model A Solutions. Uh, today I'm just going to take you through a very quick uh, explanation of um, the basics around um, staging tables. So the first thing I want to do is just uh, create a new project. Call this one Demodel 06. And as always, with the the very first thing you want to do in any Demodel project is define a connection. So we're going to define a connection to one of our little demo databases we have. Um, this is an SQL Server database, and uh, it's on our server Mac Mini. And it's called service. Just test that connection. Looks good. Okay, and we'll give that a name, service. Okay, the next thing we want to do is create what we call a source system. This is just a little bit more metadata about the source system we're using. The most important part here is this source system abbreviation. So uh, when we generate code um, in the staging database, any uh, source, any tables that come from the source system service um, are prefixed with this uh, SV. That's so we don't have clashing names in our staging database. Um, you want to associate that with a connection, so we associate it with our service connection. Right, okay, so now we're ready to create a staging table. So to create a staging table, we just uh, right click on the staging uh, folder and click Create New. First thing you do is pick a source system, in this case we only have one, so that's fine. Um, I'll leave the staging table name for later. So generally what you'll do is you'll import the schema of your staging table from your source system. In this case I'm going to pick the service connection and these are the different uh, tables we have in the service database. So let's pick one, let's say client, we'll pick the client table and here you see it's imported all the uh, names of the columns in the client table and their data types. So I'll go back here and I'll call the staging table client. Okay, got our staging columns. Now we want to define the actual extract or the ETL to suck the data out of that client table in the source and bring it into our client staging table. I'll click add. First thing you'll notice is this extract name move that into the window there so you'll notice the uh, extract name um, we use that to name the package so the package will be named in this case uh, SV underscore client underscore extract that um, prefix is important because later on when we get to look at workflow you can you can define your workflow so that it uh, extracts data from different source systems at different times. I'll pull, I'll choose the full extract pattern. So you can see there we've got two patterns. One's full extract, that means we suck all the data from our source system into staging. There's also a date range um, extract pattern where you, def where you can uh, define a date range of data to uh, extract from the source system. In this case we'll just pick full extract so, okay, now in terms of the source for this uh, extract ETL, it's from the service database and we can choose the table that we want to select data from. Um, the other option is to write a query. So we could say select star from client. Um, you can get really, you know, as sophisticated as you like with these uh, queries. I'll just go back and select the table name in this case and we'll go m click on mapping. It's auto mapped all the source columns to the staging columns. You can go and map that, you can go and change those mappings. Um, so for you can write any kind of uh, SQL expression so we might say client ID. Where's client ID? Is that right? No, no underscore plus zero. Click OK. You can describe the, the uh, mapping there if you choose. 
click OK. On Advanced tab, there's really nothing uh, of importance here. So we click OK. We'll save that. And we've defined our first station table.